In Chapel Hill, North Carolina, three Muslim students, they were attacked in their own homes and they were shot to death execution style. Dia and, and Yusser, they were, they were recent newlyweds. They were married for about six weeks. Officials, you know, police are saying that, you know, it was over a parking dispute. We find that really hard to believe because the girls, those, they, were, they wore hijabs. You know, traditional Muslim head covering that was really, you know, it identified them as Muslims. They were Americans. They were born and raised here. So they're just like any other kids out there, regardless of religion or color or any of that. And they were great kids. The, the saddest part about it is that they actually had a chance to make a positive impact on the world. And they were doing a lot of good in order to make that happen. They were trying to raise funds for Syrian refugees in Turkey. They were set to travel in Turkey during the summer to provide dental relief. They were dentist students. They were college students. They were trying to, you know, make a living. They were trying to, to follow their dreams. They were helping people. They were just told that their wedding pictures just came in, you know, this week. They didn't even see their wedding pictures yet. If anything, I wish I had known these people. I wish that I could be around them because it seems that everywhere they go, they just spread light. They spread peace. They, sh they spread what it truly meant to embody what Islam teaches you. If it wasn't due to the fact of Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, I really feel like people like Fox News and CNN definitely wouldn't have covered this. And that, to me, and to everybody, it should just be very like disgusting. Just because they're of a different faith doesn't mean that they're not human. Islamophobia is something that is so inherent in our society that you know you can't you can't downplay that at all. You can't downplay the factors and the effects that it has. And it's something that we live with. It's something that my family, my mother, my sisters that they that they're afraid. You know, they're saying like, hey, can you walk me to my car? Because I don't I don't know what, what's going to happen. Instead of three Muslims being killed by an American, if it was a Muslim killing three Americans, that. It wouldn't have just been covered in America, but it would have been covered literally worldwide. They wouldn't blame only the man. They would blame the whole entire religion of Islam. If people were to open up and see what Islam is really about, the true definition of Islam, don't let one person portray a whole thing. You know, we don't let Hitler portray the whole entire image of all Germans. We don't let whoever it may be portray their whole entire people. My sisters, you know, my, my friends shouldn't be afraid to walk out in the streets of Houston. They shouldn't be afraid to walk out and, you know, leave their homes. That, that shouldn't be a factor, not here in America, not here, you know, in the United States of America where we are taught, we're all about liberty and freedom. They shouldn't be afraid here of all places. Honestly, I find this very beautiful, you know? The portrait that was, that was um, John, they want to send that to the family directly. Everybody in the whole, everybody that was here got to sign it. It's unfortunate that an event like this has to happen in order for the community to get together and do something so special. It's definitely unfortunate, but it's better for it to happen to not to happen at all. I feel like a lot of us felt like this directly hit us. We see our families and everything overseas being, um, just living in an inhumane way, and we never really get to feel the experience. So whenever it hit home, it's because these kids are a lot like us, you know? They're a lot like me, they're a lot like you, they're a lot like anybody, any students at any university. So it hit us hard because, you know, that could have been us, that could have been my brother, that could have been my best friend. We want to help as much as we possibly can. Not just our people, we want to help the local community. Like, I'm born and raised in Houston, but I'm originally Palestinian. This is my home. You know, I definitely want to help this place just as much as I want to help any other place. We're going to take a moment of silence. If you are Muslim, please make dua. If you have faith, then please give a silent prayer. And if you don't have faith, just keep them in your thoughts. That's all we ask. So we're going to take a moment of silence right now.